Are you serious? Are you serious? Armageddon office. That's exactly right. NASA uh, has an Armageddon office, and they're aiming to protect Earth from the doomsday asteroids. Now, you know, you keep hearing these reports coming out of NASA. Dangerous asteroids. We're in a galactical belt. There is more and more and more asteroids, meteorites, comets. I mean, you hear of Planet X. What is it bringing with it? All of these things. But when NASA sets up an actual Armageddon office aiming to protect Earth from a doomsday asteroid, you start wondering, what is it that NASA knows that they have not revealed? Well, because I can tell you, there's sometimes they'll, they'll give us 48 hours and say, oh, guess what, guys? There's an asteroid that's going to just scrape by the Earth, going to whiz by the Earth in the next two days. Or uh, it's even been times that it just went by and, and they just didn't see it. So how much of this goes on? And what is it that's coming that we don't know about? Now, I know there's a, a huge asteroid called Aphophis that... Uh, is going to come in the year 2029, and then it comes back again and comes extremely close. Matter of fact, in the year 2036, there's a 2.7% chance it could have a deep, deep impact. And I sometimes wonder, is that the Revelation uh, 16 moment? or is I mean, excuse me, is that the Revelation 8.8 8 moment where the Bible talks about it's like a burning lamp, like a burning mountain that crashes into the earth? You know, I don't know. I ain't got a clue. I know the Bible says it's going to happen, and you can take it to the bank. It will. But let me, uh, as a matter of fact, let me share that verse for you, and then I'm going to read the article here uh, from NASA. But in Revelation 8, 8, here's what the Scripture says. And the second angel sounded, and it were as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. And a third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. And a third part of the ships were destroyed. And a third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. Now, here's what uh, an article by the Huffington Post on NASA's Armageddon office and aims to protect Earth from the doomsday asteroids. Well, you can rest a little easier tonight, they say, because NASA has just launched a new office aimed at protecting this planet from the potential doomsday asteroids. Now, I got news for NASA. The Bible already said we're going to have this deep impact twice nasa's not going to stop it um the head of the department lindley johnson even has an awesome new title planetary defense officer okay so nasa's been stepping up its efforts to protect the planet from a devastating deep 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 impact most recently teaming up with the National Nuclear Security Administration to work on a plan to use nuclear weapons to deflect an asteroid. And I reported on this about a year ago. In an agency and other international uh, organizations, if they're not able to deflect this celestial body, then NASA said this new department could work to prepare people on Earth by alerting those in the potential impact zone and assisting emergency response agencies such as FEMA. Oh, here we go. Here's another way to get the masses under control by alerting us we're going to get hit with an asteroid and turning over all of our rights to FEMA. Are we talking worldwide now or just U.S.? Now, the formal establishment of the Planetary Defense Coordination Office makes it evident that the agency is committed to perform a leadership role in national and international efforts for detection of these natural impact hazards and to be engaged in planning if there is a need for a planetary defense, according to Johnson. Now, Johnson was the executive of the Near-Earth Object Program, 
which is now part of this new office of Armageddon office. Uh, NASA detects about 1,500 new near-Earth objects every year, and the agency believes it's found 90% of the objects that are 3,000 feet or bigger. Now, they hope to detect smaller but still potentially dangerous objects about 450 feet or larger, about 75% of which are currently undetected. So they're, they're admitting they don't see them all. And, the, and, and here's the next question. How do you res, respond quick enough if you don't even see it? And when you finally do, it's too late. Look, folks, you better put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You better get your life right with God and don't trust in NASA. I mean, are you serious? No, no, don't do it. Are you serious? What? I'm not going to trust in NASA. I plan on catching the first bus out of here, Gus. And um, the body of Christ is prepared for that. But not everybody's going and um, not everybody's prepared. Now, asteroid detection, tracking, and defense of our planet is something that NASA, its inner uh, interagency partners and the global community take very seriously. I'm sure they do. United Nations agenda, global sustainability, part of the agenda 2030, you will find out, is this Armageddon office uh, protection program from a doomsday asteroid. You'll see it, it will be a part of it, and that's what's going to, where a lot of the, a um, lot of your own liberties. Um, are going to be taken from you and be protected because the, the powers that be want to control the earth. For your benefit, of course. Um, now, John Grunsfeld, Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directive, said in a release, quote, while there are no known impact threats at this time, the 2013 super fireball that hit in Russia and the recent Halloween asteroid with its close approach, reminds us of why we need to remain vigilant and keep our eyes to the sky. Well, I am keeping my eyes to the sky. I'm looking up. Lift up your heads because your redemption is drawing nigh, not your damnation. I'm not looking in the skies to be hit with an asteroid. I'm not looking for the damnation or the doomsday scenario to come crashing down on me. I'm looking for my Savior, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Redeemer of humanity to come. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We'll talk about this today in our live broadcast. Uh, don't miss this program. Wow, are you serious?